Let's use Autodesk Fusion 360 Cam software to CNC machine this AR15 pistol grip on my Skyfire SVM1 milling machine. My name's Aaron and you're watching the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. Okay, the first thing we're going to be doing here today is uh, facing off that top section. Uh, going around the perimeter with a 2D adaptive strategy um, and the adaptive will be both ways. Here in a minute you'll actually see the end mill do climbing and conventional milling. And there we go. And uh, this is a new strategy that Autodesk brought out I think within the last three to six months. Uh, the depth of cut here is 11 millimeters and the step over is 2.5 millimeters with a 8 millimeter is car end mill. Okay, now we're going around with a 2D contour and I'm going to repeat that finishing pass just to clean up any little nasties uh, that was left over from any tool deflection that I had. Uh, going into those holes now with a 2D adaptive boring strategies, I've actually upped the ramp and um, plunge feed rate here a little bit. I was, wasn't too happy with the way it was going when it was in the machine. Upon finishing that guys, I'll clean up those holes again with another 2D adaptive, uh, sorry, with a 2D contour with a clean up pass. And then we'll come around and do a nice big chamfer tool strategy and clean that up up there. Now, in the model, you'll actually see that I um, I did a little work around here to stop that tool coming in there and taking a bite out of that, and you'll see that. Okay, let's go to the machine. Okay, so uh, here are my soft jaws, and I'm going to be doing some uh, 2D adaptive clearing uh, both ways here with a little 6mm end mill, and uh, I'll then chase it up with a uh, contour cleanup with that 6mm, but then I'll swap out to a 3mm, so I want to get right into those corners. Righto, let's go guys, let's take it over and let's have a look at it in action.
Now, after I machined the soft jaws, uh, this operation required me to buzz off that top hat. Now, there was 11 millimetres of uh, material that had to be buzzed off, and the depth of cuts were 1.5 mil. I then came around and did a 2D chamfer cycle and cleaned up that outside perimeter and to, to make it match the other side in operation one. Righto, let's go over and let's take a look at this in action. So the neighbour had the lawnmower running flat out and uh, so I've had to uh, kill the auto here and, and put it in after the, uh, after the fact. What I'm doing here guys is using my little bubble level, uh, my little spirit level to check that the, it is level on the top of my vice jaw then I'll transfer that level to the top of my part and this will ensure that my part is in the correct uh, plane so it's actually parallel to the top of the vice and this will allow me to machine the slot uh, you know, in the right orientation. Uh, now the slot will take the Y-frame. So I couldn't be bothered canning this, I'm just going to run it old school, manual style. Here we go. For this final operation for the little AR15 handle, uh, we're going to come in and do a uh, 2D boring cycle with a 6mm end mill and uh, take out this counter ball. Then we'll use that 6mm end mill and plunge straight in as a drill, uh, like a drill, to clean that hole. I'll then come in with a spot drill and spot this bottom hole, drill it 5mm and then tap it 6mm, 1mm pitch. So let's take a look at that. And we've bore that out, come in, plunge, change over, spot drill, change tool again, tap it and then come up and clean up that bore. Let's go to the machine, let's take a look at this. Okay, I've set up the uh, G54 into the centre here. I'm going to job that up now and run this program and uh, fingers crossed it uh, comes out okay. Well that concludes today's CNC machining video. I was absolutely stoked with the surface finish and overall shape of the handle. Make sure you come back next week to see me make the Y bracket and test fire this bad boy. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, share it across other social media platforms and click that subscribe button and bell. Catch you later.